any pastime is associated with France, it's pétanque or boule. And if any sport is as much about relaxation as it is about competition, it's this one. Old men whiling away the afternoon over a never-ending game. France at its languid best. But if that's bull, then so is this. This is sport bull. Derived from boule lyonnaise, a traditional form of the game, sport boule has evolved over the past 25 years into the most dynamic and surprisingly energetic of sports. Boule lyonnaise dates back to ancient times. The Romans and the Greeks played boule. After that, different types of boule developed in different countries. And in France, we have both pétanque and boule lyonnaise. Boule had become a little game that you saw played beside the local bistro. We wanted to attract more youngsters, so we had to create some exciting events. And so faster-moving sport boule disciplines were introduced at the beginning of the 1980s. The very top level of the sport now boasts some impressive athletes who have to combine high levels of fitness with the traditional skills demanded of the boulist. Sebastien Krai and Stéphane Pangean are two of the best and fittest players in the world. The nephew of 1967 Tour de France winner Rocher Pangean, Stéphane also works as the physical trainer for Montpellier Football Club. His and Krail's fitness is overseen by Thierry Cott, who used to work with Everton FC in the UK, as well as the French national football team. These guys are definitely top-grade sportsmen. And the events they compete in demand a very high level of fitness. If we make a comparison with professional footballers, the aerobic fitness indicators of these ball players is higher than it is for the football players. To give some specific figures, Sebastien and Stefan have 10% better aerobic performance levels than most football pros. For the past three years, Pangean and Krail have both been based here in Montpellier. Pétanque is by far the most popular version of boule in the south of France, but their success is attracting wider attention for sport boule. The pair compete together at club and international level, while Krail also represents France individually. He's regarded as one of the finest talents ever to play the sport, with an uncanny ability to hit the target, however difficult his shot. Krai makes precious little money to support his family by playing ball, but thanks to an understanding employer, he's able to work on his game and his fitness for around 35 hours each week. He's built up an impressive trophy collection, including the rapid throw pairs relay with Pangean at last year's World Championships in Nice. The Frenchman set a new world record, hitting 56 balls in their 59 throws during the five-minute event. Playing in a world championship at home definitely means there's more pressure on you. When we first started competing, I felt a bit nervous, but that went away as the competition went on and we were able to manage the stress. Then to become world champion, beating the world record, was just fantastic. I think we put it all together that day. We played really well and it was just a party for five minutes when we won. Krai also competes in the precision throw, in which points are awarded for hitting a target ball from distances of more than 13 meters. 
In the hardest throws, red balls placed right by the white target ball cannot be touched when it's hit. If they are moved in the slightest, no points are scored. But the toughest physical test in Spork Bull is the progressive throw, during which contestants have five minutes to hit as many target balls as possible, placed at varying distances up to 17 meters away, while running from one end of the court to the other. Each player will cover more than a kilometer during their five minutes. Kyle's best score, the current world record, is 51 balls hit in 51 throws. Not even one miss in five minutes of running and throwing. Our sport is not yet very big in media terms. I hope that in the future it will become a lot more popular. Because I think when people see things like the relay throw and the precision throw on TV, a lot of them find our sport very spectacular. And I hope that will make them want to try it for themselves. It's very motivating.